Gather around, let me tell you about Mr. Aang. He's the math maestro, got that stat slang in the classroom. He drops knowledge bombs, equations flying like beats, set enough alarms. So how do you know which is the basic three trig functions? Well, we have sine, cosine, and tangent. Sine is the opposite. Sine is the opposite over the hypotenuse. That's normally abbreviated as so. Then ka represents the cosine of the adjacent equals Cosine equals adjacent of the hypotenuse. And then the tangent is toa. Tangent is equal to the opposite of the adjacent. So that silly phrase can help you remember from a given information. So in this problem, the starting point is angle A. So I recommend to circle it or put a star around it. Then going across, there's your opposite. Always across the right angle is the hypotenuse, the longest side. So the opposite will be the middle. Sometimes it could be the other way around. And the adjacent is, I'm gonna write next to, okay? Hey guys, let's go over how to solve for trig ratios. Number one, label the signs with O, H, and A, opposite, hypotenuse, and adjacent, given the angle. I'm going to highlight that because the angle is your starting point. Let's write that. You will always start with the angle. Number two, determine the trig ratio given the sides. Number three, get a calculator ready equation, CRE. And number four, you will solve. Okay, so here's an example. Example number one, we have solve for x. We're gonna start with the angle here. You're going to go across. This one is called the opposite side. The one across the right angle is the hypotenuse. And then the third side or next to that angle, this is called the adjacent side. Think about which one we need and we don't need. Well, you have a given information and a variable to the opposite of the hypotenuse, so we don't need the adjacent. You need O and H. So let's use this sentence frame here. O and H, the opposite over the hypotenuse, is going to be sine. Sine of the angle, which is 20 degrees, is equal to 7 over x. Well, how do you solve for that? Let's go back to our purple. So I have sine of 20 degrees equals 7 over x. I'm going to make this a fraction. I'm going to cross multiply. x times sine of 20 degrees. If you want to keep that in parentheses, then you know it's one unit. And then divide both sides by sine of 20. Uh, you are going to get... My calculator rate equation is 7 over sine of 20. You can put that in your calculator and figure that out. Okay, number two, it looks very similar. So from the given angle, we're gonna go across. This is called the opposite. Uh, across the right angle is the longest side, hypotenuse, and the third side, adjacent, which means next to. And you'll realize that we don't need that one. So same thing. But this one I chose to show you that yes, you're having Opposite hypotenuse, that would be the sine. Well, how do you know that? We have a phrase called so katoa. Uh, what I want to show you on this problem is your opposite is x and then over 7. 
So in this problem, it would be sine of 20 degrees equals x over 7. You'll just do the same thing, cross multiply. You'll get 7 times sine of 20 degrees equals x. There's my calculator ready equation. What's the difference between the two problems? Uh, the purple one, you'll notice that the uh, variable was on the bottom. And over here, you realize that the variable is on the top. It's lonely at the top. All of my enemies have been defeated. This math has been sitting in my head for too long. It's starting to give me these lesions. Follow the formula, formula these reasons. Stay solve it, uncovering all of the reasons. Multiplication, division, subtraction, and then we got fractions and algebra. Seven, I got the angles, I got the angles. I'm busting, finding the key. I'm almost breaking and finding the answer solutions. I'm ready to uncover the problem. Open up, knock, knock. Here comes the number nine, nearly one, two, four, oh no Making a mess, my count ain't the best I guess I should clean this all up and go home